almost midsummer, I'm realizing, so the days will get shorter from now. Uh, such a beautiful night. We've got a half moon sliced down the middle. Lots of blackbirds and song from birds in general. Lots of flowers. It's been really fun to create a bouquet of wild flowers. And there's just this endless sunset going on. It's really beautiful. And it's a little washed out too, like a little milky. There are a lot of bugs out here. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of mosquito bites. Mosquitoes love me, if you didn't know. If you didn't know, what the fuck am I saying? <laughs> I'm also a little mean to myself. Which is, uh, like, that reminds me of the Bo Burnham the new special, the inside where he reacts to his own reaction to his own reaction. I feel like that's me right now. Like, commentating on how I'm commentating on how I'm commentating on what I'm saying. Anyway. <laughs> it's so warm. <sighs> Look at that. It's warmer than I thought it would be. But today has had like a huge heat wave. Did you hear that? That's the train in the background. I love that noise. It's a bit therapeutic to have a camera here to talk to. It's almost like a friend. <laughs> Yikes. It's always so strange because the situation right now is that I'm talking to a camera but I know that there's an audience potentially in the future so it's, it's not strange or sad <laughs> to be talking to myself because I'm not but I also am. I don't know how people who like vlog in public, like truly in public, do that. I don't know if they just have less self-awareness than I do, or are less worried about others' perception of them. I don't know. This reminds me a bit of the spot with the sheep back where I used to live. That was really, really nice. I hope they're all doing well. Well, maybe they've been slaughtered. I love a cool summer night. That's my favorite part of summer. It's when the day is cooled down, but it's still light. And it's light just forever, these nights of summer in Denmark. It's pretty unique, I think. And I would miss it a lot if I moved somewhere that didn't have those light nights. On the other hand, we do have a lot of dark days, like literally dark days and very, very short days. So, I feel like we pay a tax for it. <laughs> I light all the candles, got flowers for all of my rooms. I care for myself the way I used to care about you. I wish I could show you the full scope of how beautiful this place is, and this day. I don't think that's possible. Can't capture it.
recently I had access to a color printer and I created this little booklet. I used Autodesk Sketchbook, which is completely free. I mention them all the time. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them. Not yet. But uh, it's a free resource that I think anyone creative could use. I just did like 10 different combinations and kind of played it out with luck how the composition of the book would end up. The printer didn't have the duplex setting of printing on both sides, so it's a little bit chunky. I had to glue together this, the pages and I sewed the back myself. I love working with the format of books and ideally I would really love to do have a proper book printed sometime uh, so this was really really fun for me to make and this is me showing it to you here is a little flip through of it <laughs> on dress that I bought in the Netherlands a couple of years back in a thrift store. It has this really adorable moon and stars pattern and I really really love the color but I don't love the fit of it on me. So I'm gonna chop off the skirt part and use it as a top. I'm not that satisfied with this but I have plans for the remaining fabric for like a soft sculpture so at least that will be used for something 